not saying you talk to this shit. But you speak it to them when you can make it to where they can understand. Because we're called to you know, you know, stoop down to their level for Jake to understand it. Because you know, Jake got a uh, bad and uh, earning or short attention span. You know, trying to talk about deep things. Because the moment you start using big words and stuff like that, Jake be like, oh, I don't want to hear this shit. But when you start talking on their level, which we don't like to do it, but hey, for you to get the edification, we have to do it sometimes. You know? <laughs> this is uh, this is Psalms 138 and 6. Though the Lord be high, yet he yet hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Right, and most times looking on the middle, right? He knows the crowd afar off, like I said, the most high is number one, he's the number one poet, he's the number one teacher, he's, 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 he's everything about the middle. So you can be super skilled and learn uh, in, in economics and all that, right? But don't understand the milk. You know, you know better. You better know a little bit the basic foundation of the Lord than to have much knowledge and not for You know better. Yeah, like you a doctor and you eat pork. Or you a nurse who smoke cigarettes. You, you a doctor where you, you, you use your knowledge to try to save at certain times you can eat pork or in a balance or cooking and all right. that. Right. And so it's like you got this much knowledge, but you can't you can't uh grasp the uh, the concept that that animal is going to eat. Correct. Right. So the, the 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 young the young Jake who says, eh, I'm gonna stay away from it because the scriptures say to stay away from it. He's considered more wise than you. Yeah, that's the yeah, that's the basics. It was like, hey, even then, like before Israel was before Israel was established, you had uh, well, they had to learn the basics first before they could like start learning, learning, like, learning trades and things like that. You know, you gotta learn a, a whole whole learn all the other things. You gotta learn how, like, learn how to carry yourself. Talk about uh, loving, like loving thy own soul. You know, hey, and that's important, man. And these people over here in the worst part of the world, they uh, they very insecure people. They're always comparing themselves to other people. You know? there's, there's really no individuality. In Especially you see, you see that a lot with our women, man. Hey, you go anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world, like anywhere in Babylon, all right. Uh, niggas, niggas all dress the same. The nigga woman dress the same. Wear the same thing. Fake eyelashes, heels, uh, hair, all that. You know, like don't, don't nobody do nothing different. Okay. You got the James two for me. Yeah. This is the book of James, chapter 2, verse 1, and it reads, My brethren, have not the faith of the Lord, Yahweh, so like Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, the Lord of glory, with respect of persons. For if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, say unto him, sit down here in a good place and say to the poor, stand out there, or sit here under my footstool. Are ye not then partial in yourselves and are become judges of evil thoughts? Hearken, my beloved brethren, has not the Most High chosen the poor of this world rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he hath promised to them that love him? But ye have despised the poor. 
Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seat? Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by the which ye are called? And that's why, man, you see a lot of this, like, with, uh, on those platforms, like, the Captain Tazaria, right? They'll be interviewing these so-called people who's supposed to be somebody. And they'll blaspheme the scriptures. But because of his respect for them, because of their position or whatever, the rebuke doesn't come down. Like, he had one guy on this panel who was basically talking about, like, here and now. We need to talk about here and now. And the Bible ain't gonna help us. So then the guy was like, well, first off, you know, like going back to Abraham. He's like, hey man, F Abraham, F any Abraham, F, F this Abraham, uh, uh, Lincoln, I don't like none of the things. Like, they ain't got nothing to do with it right now. You think because Zari was like, hey boy, you going off. Okay. No, he goes, oh man, we ain't talking about Abraham. Like, you know damn well that's not what he's talking about. He made it clear what he's talking about. Right? But you trying to be respectful. Conversing with a young Jake, but the moment he said, "Yeah, my people's from Africa," what? Right. You see, because you you ain't you ain't spiritual. Right. Yeah. Like, what about the Israelites? Is already that's uh, it's already there. They, like, they never got captured. Yeah, man. Do you know how many Israelites right now? Celebrities. You would you would basically have to cast out. Truth 
I looked at the words and I looked at what they what they you know what they look like. Nothing but just stand there. Yeah. And get up the street. Like, he couldn't say nothing. That was like it's part of the wise of They run this world, they run a society. I would think, well, you would think, if I didn't know the truth, if they really, if they really don't know nothing, they should go down there, defend their case, and, and, and basically shut down us or the apostles, right? The so called Jews would be, but they go running. That right there tells me they got the truth. Because you running from them, they ain't running from you. You looking to stop them from teaching, they ain't doing nothing to you. They harmless. We got, look, we're harmless. We're not asking for nothing. We're not even promoting violence. We're simply teaching the Bible. Right? And we ask you to consider what we're saying. In fact, you got that job too. I was looking for more harm. I was looking for more harm. You said, John? This is John chapter 3 and verse 5. And it says, Yahweh Shai answered, you said, St. John 3 and verse 5. And it says, uh, Yahweh Shai answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of kingdom of Yahweh. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is the spirit. I jump down to seventeen. Verse seventeen it says, For Yahweh sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of Yahweh. And this is the con condemnation. The light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because of their deeds, because their deeds are evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, even coming to the light, lest his deeds should be removed. But he that doeth truth coming to the light, that his deeds may be manifest, that they are wrought in Yahweh. Yeah. After these things, came Yahweh Shai and his disciples into the land of sound thereof, but can us not tell whence it cometh, whither it goeth, so it is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Yeah, you see, that's, that's another strange, that's how the Most High, that's how He wakes brothers up. Right? You know, he's talking about the what man you came into the truth. Of course, you know, you come to the truth, first thing you think of, man, I wish I knew this earlier, right? Uh, I wish, uh, I, wish I knew this. I wish I was born in
chicks, or because of their turning around, these other brothers took them. That's what happened to me. Uh, knowing how he was, and seeing him say some positive things on social media. That's all I thought, hey man, this is something going to hit the book. And the fact that I could see he changed, that's how I knew, like, you know, whatever happened to the guy. That's why scripture tells us to be an example to the believers. You know what I'm and, and one of his gifts, which I told him this, was that even he had the ability to break it down. I, 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 was, I was like, yeah, I was like, you know, you're good at breaking stuff down to shape it in, in certain terms, like worldly terms. And he was like, yeah, I know how to break it down to what you can do. I understand. Right? And, but I told him that you acknowledge your gift, yet you still turn your back. Just, that's not good. But then, we keep going. Yeah, the first nine. Yeah, yeah like the spirit. That's how the most high works, man. You can't tell where the wind goes. Just like you can't tell how the spirit goes. It's just how the world works. The scripture says the most high's works are the kids. And in many of the world's high works are the kids. You may be like, I want to see. You know what they're saying? They are the kids. And you don't even know there's demons everywhere. Your eyes are open today, you faint. Because you see a whole world of demons. Yeah. It's probably their adult sudden death syndrome that you see. Yeah. Or open up, open up their eyes. Took them out of there. Yeah, hey, you had a brother that survived that. What's up? From Mississippi. Like, he lost, like, uh, I guess, I ain't gonna say lost the spirit. I mean, I guess you could say that, but. Uh, Lord bless them with it again. You know, seeing demons and like shadows and stuff, and, you know, people faces and all that. Yeah. Yeah, hey, shit. Shit, bug you up. You know? Shit. I don't want to see that shit. The shit, the shit that I did see, I didn't want to see that shit. And that's something, that's something you never forget either. Exactly. You can't never go back. And that's the same thing with, like, knowing this truth, man. You can't go back to living like you don't know the truth, man. Like, you, you, even niggas that fall out, man, ain't never the same again, you know? Yeah. You can't go back to living the same way because you, you know, you know now, you know? And that's like with anything, you know? You, you grow up as a teenager, you be naive to the world. But all they take is for a couple times to get burnt, you know, like you, you be nice to somebody and they get over on you, or, you know, you find out, about what all these bills and shit about. Like, you, uh, you know, you find out it's, it's real easy to get in trouble out here because there's so many laws to, to catch you up. You can't go back to living like an adolescent no more. Like, right. you know, it's, 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 it's kind of like that, man. What you say, man? I'm trying to speak as a child. All right, back in James 2, I'll go back to verse 6. And it reads, But ye have despised the poor. Do, do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seat? Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by the which ye are called? If ye fulfill the royal law, according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well. But if ye have respect of persons, so I respect two persons, ye commit sin and are convinced of the law as transgressors. Verse 9. Yeah, that's right. So, you can't always just go off of uh, the appearance. Hey, just even in this realm, man, they call us bums. Now, why would you call us bums? Why? Because you don't see the uniform, the dress like uniform. You don't see the fancy. Like, do, you, do you not understand that you, you literally are a, a, a victim of, uh, of, of no different than being the same Israelite that look up Christian pastors, you know what I'm saying, because of their outlets? As I said, what, the victory of peril? That's why a lot of you join those groups that we know. We know. Because it, 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 you're in it for the wrong reason.
like it, it was an IUIC, uh, you know, because you know, I subscribed to one of these channels, right? Yeah, like, how the count is He was like, congratulations to uh, some, such as whatever his rank was. Yeah, he, he went to school for uh, business and marketing and something like that. Like, you shouldn't even put that on the internet. Because, like I said, you give giving Jake the wrong impression. So I feel y'all and y'all are supporting me my career to be a doctor. Sure thing. First of all, it should take seven years. Mm -hmm. So what year are we in? Right. Are you talking about finishing this? Bro, it take. It take, it take like one minute. It take one minute. So like, you got to get a bachelor's degree in uh, biology. Yeah. And then, and, and then you got to pass the uh, like the the MCAT test to even get into the school in the first place. You know, and then, and, and then the school take what four to five years. Yeah, and then you got to do the. Uh, Studying. Residency. Huh? Residency. Residency. That takes years to You see? So, you, you know, now, if you are already like, you're six, seven, yeah, you keep doing what you want, but if you're trying to start now, that's not why. Alright? You just, you're not going to see the end of it. Just tell you. Tell you. You're not going to see the end. Um, yeah, you don't put that on the internet because you're giving Jake wrong impression that we're gonna be here that we're gonna be here a long time and that you know that's a good goal you give it jake the wrong idea we want jake to stay in captivity on the wrong stuff just it's, it's more important that they know this truth and like i told you a hey, brothers in the truth they brothers are ambitious brothers do things but we make sure it's known the main priorities because we men we talk about wisdom the scriptures talk about wisdom enterprise and stuff like that. So we give advice, but we know for sure what comes first. This is true. That's why we don't post our gatherings online, you know, our, our, our Passover, uh, the wine and all that stuff, just going out and having a good time. And we don't do that because we don't want to get a wrong example. Put that image out there. It's yeah. and, and, and that's why you got a lot of Israelites now in the groups, in it for the wrong reasons. In it for the wrong reasons. A lot of them in it just because they want to make A lot of them in it because they want to make business. They just want to do businesses. And I, I just want to make, I want to flourish my business. So you have to support my business. Alright, brother, they can be a friend. I'm break down Genesis 2. Uh, you been in this group two years and you can't break down the second chapter. That's a problem. But that's what would have happened if you was to question those, those guys. It's just right. a lot of bodies. Yeah. Yeah, right. just, it's just, it's just, it's just bodies. Yeah. It's going to say falling out of multitude, you know, to, to do evil. Right. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, this is First Corinthians. First Corinthians 13 and 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. And when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass, darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as I am known. Right.
just all we say, and we just say, you know, appropriate length. Shit touching your shoulders and some shit. That gotta go. Yeah. Okay. The war we started, you know, we can't fucking fight the wrong yeah. curve, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's actually, uh, you know, uh, it, the scriptures cover all this, man. That's why the apostles say it, you know? How many times you see guys, bro, one guy lose because he got a hit. You know, it's her pulling him. You know, you get uh, uh, stories like Absalom, man. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just it's just not the nature of a man. Man. Like, and that's what this thing is about, building up the nation of Israel, starting with our men, man. Teaching them to be men again. You know, because we see that this this world and this on this system is all about making you a feminine, make, making you and giving you liberty. Yourself, you know, to define yourself. So, hey, that's another thing you might not like. A harsh speech. A harsh speech. Because when you go see your therapist, you all smooth and cool. Yeah, because he paid to do that. But when you go see your pastor, he's sweet and all that. You might get cursed out. Right? Watching the video. And because that, that, that don't sit right with you. I don't sit right with you. So I shouldn't be talking like that. Or the cursing. Because yeah. we use a rude speech. That's probably it. Yeah. Hey, that's a jink talk on a day to day basis. But yeah. they feel because, oh, y'all boys be representing scriptures and y'all cussed it, man. The Lord did the same thing when he seen motherfuckers acting the fool and doing bullshit that they wasn't supposed to be doing. He put hands on them, you know? Look how the vipers and snakes. Yo, that was that was equally cussing them out like like in these times, man. It's a viper. <laughs> you call me a fox. Yeah. yeah. You know? So a lot of your jakes get the nah, y'all can't be the one. Yeah. He just said the word there. I, I can't listen to this. Okay. I can't listen. I can't listen to you. you. So because of our speech, we just made just a call saying he, he used rude speech, but he wasn't me. Tell the truth, though. Well, the speech is not enough. Our speech is not enough. Honestly, the spirit of the country is hard. They don't bring out the truth harshly like that. It reminded me of how my grandma was talking in my own life. You never should have told it anything to me. So when I heard them bringing the speeches out, you know, just, just confident and just speaking freely with it. You know, it caught me. You know, so if it's supposed to reach you, it's supposed to reach. You know, we ain't up here to be PC and, and fit into this society, man. We probably signed a downfall of it. You know, and those that get offended, man, you, you offended at, at the truth, man. So you need to get on the opposite side of that, man. You know, if you mad at the, I just seen a um, quote today that said, if, if the truth kills them, let them die. Shit. You know? It, if you mad at the truth, then that's that's a problem with you, man. Because there right. ain't no problem with the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> exactly. But you have having plenty of times. You have some black woman that comes up loud. And brother, you get the fuck out of here. You know, they comment board all you. You know what I mean? Right? Talking to their sister. Like, she ain't no sister. Right. She ain't no sister. According to the scriptures, those who believe it's true, they are sisters. Right? She ain't no damn sister. That's why Jake get all Simple things like I can't rock with y'all. I should have been soft and gentle. Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes it ain't. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's alright. Listen. Sometimes it's. Ain't. This work be of men, it will come to naught. 
But if it be of your hollow, you cannot overthrow it. Lest happily ye be found even to fight against your hollow. Right. And that's, you know, that's our message to OCAP. You know, clearly we're unlearned because you went to a seminary school. So that's right there, you're already offended. Because you're like, man, I had to go to the school. I know what I'm talking about. And you learn it from us. Starting with the apostles. Now you're using the blue letter. Now you're pulling out precepts before you call Ethan Comscotch. Now you grew your bird out. Now you want to go to the streets. But you really don't go to the streets. You only come up with the scholar. You learn it from us. And that pisses you off. Because you perceive that we are considered unlearned men, aka so called uneducated, according to the world society. And they go on the scriptures that the Israelites go to and try to, like, uh, I guess, like, 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 like fuck up the breakdown that we are already put up there. Undo the truth, you know what I mean? What's the power of the Lord? You see, like, 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 it said white, like, it didn't say woo, it said white, like, what are you, man? It said white, like, woo. Right, so it's giving you a cover and a texture. Yeah, cover right. and a texture. But just because, okay, let's say that, right? Let's say it's white. It don't mean you know, My hair gets white. <laughs> okay. Right. You see, my man, my brother, his hair gets white. So, you can't use that one word to say let's talk about it. Because their hair is blonde. Right. He had hair white. He said white like white in color, woolly in texture. He was so called black man. But then when you continue reading, it said he had eyes of flaming fires. They, they got a picture of a blue eyed cracker. But you know what they say? Well, when the flame is. It, it's blue. Man, and blue and blue. Yeah, they actually said it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Get the fuck out of The here. blue flame. Oh, oh wow. And, uh, and, it, and it's talking about wine, right? Because us, like, he's a wine And then it said his feet, like, it's a fine grass. It's not the same color as your feet. It's the same color as your body, as if it burned. So, he was dark skin. But they said, no, that's talking about shoes. No, I don't even know, I don't know if I heard him say something. He had on some brown shoes. They represented the church. You know? <laughs> Y'all say some shit like that. Yeah, they come out there. Yeah, so they break that. And uh, I, like my mentors uh, sent me some uh, some more here in the Negro that uh, broke down the scriptures. Like basically trying to combat like what I believe in all that. And Jay, he went to uh, Daniel 79. Uh, he's trying to uh, link, link that with Revelation 1 and 13. All right, first off, uh, one is Yahweh Shai and the other one is Yahweh Shai. The eight, the eight the days is the Yahweh Shai. Because he has no beginning and no end. Okay, Yahweh Shai has a beginning. Uh, when, when the word, like when Yahweh spoke the word, spoke his son into existence. You know, he's talking about two different entities, my guy. Hey, and guess what? Both of them got one here. Then you go to the story how he had to fled ran into Egypt. How can how can the family of Cracker go to Egypt? To <laughs> all, all hair I had to do is look at that Cracker. Oh, they right there. You know, he hid because we looked the same. They looked the same. They were dark skinned. You no, know, even Joseph. And it also tells you that the Jew, uh, Judah born him. And the gates of his language is black to the ground. That word in Hebrew is dark, which means dark skin. Right. So you Jeremiah 14, too. Right. So all that to try to fight the truth. But it's the truth. You know? This is Isaiah chapter uh, 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. Yeah, no, our people do not consider. Right? You do not. You don't even consider. Like that woman who said I was nothing but the worst of Israelites. You literally just curse yourself because you are this. You are. You don't even consider. See, me, even if I didn't know the truth, I would still hear them out. Hey, let's, let's hear them out. Let's see what they got to say. Versus just marking them off as dumb and Everybody thinks that way, right? A lot of you are afraid of being a white. Because we read that in John. 
afraid of the light. You don't want to be accountable. You want the wool over. It's written in the scriptures. That's why they can make movies like The Matrix, man. Because they get, they get it from the scriptures. Like Orpheus said, I remember some people are afraid. Okay, some people are too plugged in that they, they, they are afraid. They will become an enemy to you because you is threatening their mental lifestyle. They want to. They have, they have the right to protect the same system that's, keep, that's keeping them enslaved. Where they get that from? They got the scriptures. The scriptures, yeah, they live. They got that from the scriptures. Right? But the Lord said they hate, they hate the life. That's their deeds you Get, get ye out of the way, cause the Holy One of Israel to see the form for us. Tell us smooth things, things we want to hear. That, but you feel like you don't even consider, but it said what the donkey in the hand. They got more sense to know us. They can curse you all out. That's where my help comes from. At least I know who my master is, who I serve. And you know, this don't never be read in, in, in the church. All my years of growing up, I even never knew until like Isaiah, Job, <coughs> you know, uh, books of detail. It's talking to Israel. You know? Man, a lot of chicks get, get uh, they like to run up to the Muslim guys because, you know, they well dressed, groomed. So, uh, but they in the Islam, they ain't got no understanding. They still talking about some Elijah Muhammad. <coughs> And, 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 and what has they done? They've been around on the scene for quite some time. What have they done? They ain't doing nothing. They're not stirring up the pot. It's the Israelites that's stirring up. Right. Israelites is, is, what's, is what's mainstream. Ain't nobody talking about no Islam, man. So I'm give a damn how many so-called black Islamic guys who are well-respected, but they ain't got the truth. Right. Still the coast, man. Like a, lot, a lot of them white guys that be into that, they still be drug dealing. And if you listen to Malcolm X, he was explaining to you the hypocrisy of Elijah Muhammad. He was getting them all pregnant, women pregnant, but he, he made sure that they, the people could only have one wife. But he was popping most of them. You know, so there's always hypocrisy behind that, man, that organization. I mean, you, a lot of you think, oh, Farrakhan must have the answers. First of all, he wanted to stretch his head and be a hypocrite. Okay? He ain't got no understanding. Because every now and then he go on the stage talk about the slave trade, right? But if he's not telling you it's like, he ain't got the truth. Nobody's talking about him. Everybody focuses on the Israelites. His videos aren't getting taken down. He can go on stage and curse out Esau, and it'll stay him. But, you know, but a brother with 10 subscribers make a 10 minute video calling Esau Edom the devil, that can get taken down. So that right there lets me know Somebody got the truth and somebody don't. Because the first question I ask, how come they can make videos about this when we can't? We got to talk in cold shit. Verse 4. A, sin, a sinful nation. A people laden with iniquity. A seed of evildoers. Children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel to unto anger. They are gone away backwards. Why should ye be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is fine. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. Yeah, the whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. Somebody who uh, visible. That's why most of watch a lot hold back in The whole head is sick. The hell is on down. Majority of my elders, you know, uh, Jake's on on down, man, to these little uh, uh, millennial babies, man. Everybody fucked up, you know. So then one comes up that came from your hood, went to the same school as you. You see him out here teaching now, and you like, man, what can you tell me? We went to the same school. We grew up in the same. I was there when you got your first game. Yeah. Since when did you just, right? I think I listened to you. In fact, you got held back. But, um, but yeah. See, you, you got that. Yeah. Uh, 
this is uh first Corinthians nine. Okay. <clears throat> first Corinthians nine and eighteen. It reads, What is my reward then? Verily that when I preach the gospel, I may make the gospel of Hamashiach without charge, that I abuse not my power in the gospel. For though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servants unto all, that I might gain the more. And unto the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews to them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. Um, 21, to them that are without the law, as without the law, being not without the law to Yahweh, but under the law to Hamashiach, that I might gain them that are without the law. Talk about you know talk about it all right so when he was amongst the, 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 the people, maybe people right of those without the law then he lowered himself to speak so on their level to where they could understand See? and when he was called talking about the words with the law he was going right back at it well you know, this, does not the scroll say that there shall one come amongst us so he was able he was gifted with that ability he was also a uh, bodily he probably knew more than one he grew up, he basically grew up with the say in the truth. Not so much the truth, truth but he grew up as a, as a Pharisee. Right? So he was well, he, that's why he, his position, the Lord used him as a vessel. Right? His position was an example to the people who knew about him, to the people who knew his reputation, and the people who are of a status. I was a persecutor. I went to the church. Then, not only was he convincing them, but also the people. Because even the disciples were the people. It was like, who? Saul. Amen. You know about that? And then Peter had to explain the petition on Saul's behalf. It's like, no, oh, the Lord did this and that. Then they accepted it. Because he had that reputation. So then even they was like, oh man, I'm surprised to go to you. You never know what the Lord is doing. So for you guys, you should consider what we're saying. Don't so much look at the the you know the profession. You don't think it's respected, but in the eyes of the Lord, it's highly respected. This is what he's looking at right here. The highest, what's the highest sought out degree in the probably in the world? Probably master. Uh, master's PhD. Master's. I'm talking about like professional. Probably like a doctor. Doctor, <clears throat> lawyer. Like there's somebody sit like a lawyer, right? People respect lawyers. 